This is Sophie Heller, and this is an ACT science question. The question is asking us to look at the hypothesis proposed in paragraph two and see whether the experiments prove it or don't prove it. So we're looking for experiments that don't prove it. So let's look at our hypothesis. So the accepted hypothesis is that the more porous the soil, the more permeable the soil. So we want to look at these three different experiments. So in experiment one, we have very porous dry sand, and then water is poured over the sand. Water passes quickly through the sand and is dispersed throughout. Water goes to the bottom of the jar. So this is definitely proving the experiment. So we want to get rid of any choice with experiment one. So let's get rid of choice number one. Choice um, experiment two. Um, in experiment two, we have an almost non-porous soil, and we have water poured over the limestone. We see that the water goes through, uh, travels through the limestone in, in streams. Um, there's some water that's still on the top of the soil that doesn't pass through. Um, there are holes for so, but some of that, some of it does go to the bottom of the jar. So it's just really unevenly dispersed. So it's not telling us whether it's it's right, whether this hypothesis is right. It seems like this hypothesis is only half right, since some of the water goes all the way through, some of it just stays on the top. So experiment two definitely doesn't prove it. Uh, let's look at experiment three. In experiment three, we have non-porous clay, and we see that the water placed on the soil stays on top, not passing through. So that's definitely going to prove it. So we don't want experiment three. So experiment two doesn't really prove it. It gives a kind of wishy-washy conclusion. So that's going to be good. So choice two is our answer.